Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to create MailChimp subscriber for contact form 7 submission. Now I want that whenever a new form is submitted in my contact form 7, automatically by using the details of the form response, a new subscriber should be created and added in my MailChimp account. So how we are going to do this process automatically and effortlessly? For that we will have to integrate contact form 7 with MailChimp and because they do not have any kind of native integration between them, therefore we are going to use and automation and integration software Pabli Connect here in order to connect both of them. So how we are going to do that? For that we have contact form 7 in our trigger and MailChimp in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new form will be submitted in contact form 7, automatically by using the response of the form submission, a new subscriber will be created and added in our MailChimp account. And in order to learn the entire process step by step, let me take you all to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn that whenever a new form is submitted in contact form 7, automatically by using the details of that form, a new subscriber will be added in MailChimp. Okay, so let's start learning this process step by step. First of all, in order to create the workflow, we have to come on our browser and then we have to search for pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, we will be on the landing page of this software. Here we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free to create your free new account in just two minutes because I'm already an existing user. Therefore, I'm clicking on sign in. And after coming on the all apps section, we can find all the products offered by Pabli. So in order to create the workflow, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And when we do that, we will come on the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So here we can find the workflows which we create. And also to create a new workflow, we have to click on create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's click on it. Now a dialog box has appeared in front of us, which is asking us to provide a suitable name to this workflow. So let's give it a name as create MailChimp subscriber from contact form 7 responses. And after giving the name to the workflow, let's click on create. And as we do that, we can find two windows open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the basic concepts on which the entire workflow of this automation runs. We can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. So let's understand trigger and action with the example of this workflow. Here we are going to take contact form 7 in our trigger and MailChimp in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using this workflow in such a way that whenever a new form will be submitted in contact form 7, automatically in response towards that, a new subscriber will be created in MailChimp by using the details of the form. That means action is the response towards the trigger. Okay, so let's start preparing the workflow. First of all, we have to select our trigger application, which is contact form 7. So our trigger application will be contact form 7. Let's select it. And now our trigger event will be new form submission. And here we can see that a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions which we have to follow in order to connect in order to connect contact form 7 with Pabli Connect. So let's so let me tell you how we have to do that. For that, let me take you to my WordPress account because contact form 7 is a plugin of WordPress. So in the WordPress account from the left side, we have to come on the contact and then and then we have to click on contact forms. So after doing that, we can find several forms which are already created over here. So in order to create this workflow, we are going to use this contact forms. So let's select it. And now from the given options, we have to select webhook. So here in the webhook URL section, we have to paste the URL which is provided to us in Pabli Connect. So let's just copy it from here and then we will have to paste it over here. Done. Now click on save. So now the webhook is set up. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect and here it is showing waiting for the webhook response. So that means now we have to do a test submission by filling up the form in order to capture the webhook response over here in Pabli Connect. So let's go back to our form and from here we have to select the form again. So after coming again on the form, we have to copy this short URL which is given over here. And the next step is that we have to go on pages, select add new. And here we have to give a suitable title to this new page. So let us give it as new contacts. After giving the title, we have to paste the URL which we have copied here. Okay. Now when we click on publish, our form will get published. Okay. Let's click on preview changes and we can find that the form is open in front of us. Now here, this is the form which we are going to fill in order to capture the response in Pabli Connect. So let's fill the dummy details over here just to capture the response. 
first of all it is asking for the name so let's enter the first name test user test user a dummy phone number will be this and at last the email so i'm giving the dummy email as test user 10 at the rate pablitudes.com okay so these are the details which i have filled now let's click on submit and let's go on public connect to check whether we have received the response yes we can see that we have received the response here with the same details which we have entered in the form okay now let's move on to our next step that is our action step so what will be our action our action will be to create a new subscriber in mailchimp by using the details which we have received through contact form 7 response okay so let's first select our action application which will be mailchimp let's select it and now let us select our action event which will be add new member with custom fields click on connect and now it is asking two options add new connection or select existing connection so let's click on add new connection and here we can find that it is asking us for the two details token and the data center so first of all let us find the token from where we are going to find it for that we have to go on our mailchimp account and under the profile picture we will find api keys in extras so let's so let me take you to my mailchimp account so this is the dashboard of MailChimp account and here from the top right corner we have to click on our profile picture. Under that we have to click on profile and from the given options we have to select extras and here we can find the API keys. So here we can find all the API keys which are already existing in MailChimp. So in order to create a new API key we have to scroll down and click on create a key. As we click on it, it is asking us to provide this API key a name. So let's give it a random name as contacts. Okay, now let's click on generate key. And here we can find that our API key is provided to us. Now let's click on copy to clipboard. And when it is copied, click on done. And then we will paste it over here. Done. Now the next is the data center. So from where we are going to find this data center for that we have to go on the URL of our MailChimp account. So let us again go on our MailChimp account here from the top we can find that our URL is given over here. Now from this URL we have to find our data center. So this is my data center US 6. I will simply copy it and then I will paste it over here in public connect. So this was my data center. If your data center is something else such as US 19, US 17, etc. So you can similarly add that. Okay. Now let's click on save and we can find that our MailChimp account is successfully integrated with Pably Connect. Now let's move further. So the next it is asking us for the audience list. So I only have one audience list which is named as Pably Connect. So it is already selected. You have to select your own list. Now the next it is asking us for the details which are received through form submission in contact form 7. Okay. So for that we are not going to enter the details one by one manually but rather than we are going to map them because we want that whenever a new form is also submitted and the response is received in Pably Connect automatically the details of the form should be captured here in Pably Connect. Because we want that whenever a new form is also submitted in contact form 7, automatically the response of that form should be captured in Pably Connect and the workflow should not get stuck due to dynamic details. Okay, so if we will map the data, we do not have to do anything manually, but but the process will be automated. Okay, so let's first map the email by using our previous step that is form submission in contact form 7. So let's select it and from here we can find the email. Let's select it and it is mapped. And the next is the tag. So we can assign a tag to our subscribers in MailChimp. So because we are creating the subscribers by using the response of contact form 7. So therefore I am assigning the tag to the subscriber as contact form 7. Okay. And if you want to assign more than one tag then you then you have to use this format that is comma separated values. For that you have to use a comma and then a space and then you have to assign one more tag. Okay. So this is the process of assigning the tags to the subscriber. Now let's move on and next it is asking for the status of the subscriber. So let us select from the drop down as I want to give the status as subscribed. So now I will directly come on the first name. So let's map the first name from our previous step. So this is the first name. Similarly, we can map the last name also and at last the phone number. So map the phone number also in the same manner. Now let's click on save and send test request. 
And yes, and here we can find that we have received a response along with an ID of the new subscriber which is recently created in our MailChimp account. So that means our response is positive over here. Now let's go and check in the MailChimp whether we have received the response there in the form of a new subscriber or not. So this is the MailChimp account and under the audience section we have to go on all contacts. And under that we can find that yes, a new contact is created over here with the same details which we have received through form submission in contact form 7 along with the tag which we have assigned to this particular subscriber contact form 7. So that means our workflow is successful over here. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect and summarize what we have done in this workflow. So basically we have taken two steps trigger an action in which we have taken contact form 7 in trigger and MailChimp in our action and we have connected both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever a new form will be submitted in contact form 7 automatically by using the response of that form a new subscriber will be created in MailChimp. Okay, so this was the full workflow and these were the steps which we have to follow in order to integrate both these applications. So this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can easily email us at support at the redpabli.com. If you want to ask any query, you can easily reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you are having any pricing related issue with Pabli Connect, you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.